We have some announcements before we get to our guest speaker. Uh, my name is Murray Camp. I'm director. We also have Lisa and Mark, uh, also directors on with us. Um, so uh, the first thing and coming up here this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, May 20th and 21st, uh, is Aquashella. Uh, it's a huge trade show, aquarium show. Um, really need to get members out there to support not only the, the show, but the club um and volunteer we still need some volunteer slots one or two for the club table uh and then also uh for the event itself they still need some volunteers all that information is on our website so please check it out come down um if you're a premium member paid member show our card we have uh free snacks and drinks um some nice perks to you know you can skip the concession lines, come hang out with us. So uh, please come. It'll be a great show. Um, something for everybody. Moving on, the photo of the month, the grand prize, a $50 gift certificate went to DJD3MON. D Digimon, I don't know how to pronounce it. DJD3MON, congratulations. The voter prize went to Doreo, D-O-R-E-O. -E uh, because of their tank size, there was a prize substitution of Seachem glue, cleaning pad, and a towel. Um, so we took care of them that way. Wednesday, June 14th at 7 p.m., uh, club meeting. The guest speak speaker is the Ocean Rescue Alliance International. Um, they are affiliated with the 1000 Mermaids uh, charity and other programs. Should be a great presentation. Please uh, check in. More information on the website. Moving on Saturday, June 17th at 10 to 11 a.m. Uh, there's gathering and giveaways at Dallas North Aquarium. It may be in the back uh, warehouse room, but it may be near the door. Just walk around till you find us. Um, there should be informational signs up that morning, but come hang out with, with us for an hour at Dallas North Aquarium. Uh, there will be free stuff. So, um, we also have a June, July bag and grab committee meeting. And for more information on that, I'm going to turn it over to Lisa. <laughs> so you may think bag and grab, is that some sort of ninja wet works? No, instead, um, our hobby club is trying to get back to our roots. Um, remember how, or you may have heard about how frag swaps were swaps. And we've had a lot of feedback from a lot of people that let's get back to trading. We've also had people say, well, I don't know who to give a coral to. And it's just one. I'm going to throw it in the trash. Well, it's a little animal. It's alive. It needs a home. And so our bag and grab it. And Nick is on tonight's call. It's actually his wife that came up with the name for our table. Um, the committee is meeting again in either June or July. Uh, we are going to do a test table at the August 5th frag swap that's coming up. Um, and if you'd like to uh, join the committee and give some feedback, uh, that will that is open. And there will be information once we get a date picked for our next meeting. Um, it'll be up on the forum. Uh, so you'll, you'll be aware of that. And you may notice that I'm shaking this little box back and forth, tempting and teasing you guys. This will be the prize giveaway. It's an ICP test kit. This small box is very powerful. It's a donation uh, generously provided by Reef Labs. Thank you, Reef Labs. And inside here is your mailing label to send your water supplies back. It has your test tube vials. There's other stuff in here too. Uh, what is that? And other stuff, I can't tell. It's all, it's, it's amazing that they pack so much in this little thing. Um, so, uh, you must be present to win, and this is the giveaway at the end. Whoop, 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 whoop. So I'm going to turn uh, this back to Murray. Murray, thank you. Thanks, Lisa. Um, so getting to our guest speaker, uh, Kat Dwan, also known as Metro Cat, has been a hobbyist for almost 12 years. Is that right, Kat? Did I get that right? Uh, seven years ago, she started her own marketing company and has worked with, with multiple very well-known brands in the hobby. Um, she is currently with Brightwell Aquatic. Aquatic. She started out uh, managing their social, social media 
and then stepped into the role of account manager several years ago. Um, you've probably seen, if you go to any reef shows, she'll, she'll be there at the Brightwell table. She's um, uh, uh, representing uh, Brightwell at, at reef shows around the country. Uh, and she's also personally been using Brightwell uh, products for years. So she brings not only uh, her industry experience, but also her personal experience about a very wide range of products. And we look forward to hearing more, Kat. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I, I really, truly appreciate it. And thanks for everybody that's watching. Um, so like Marie said, I've been using Brightwell products personally for about 10 years now. And I started off with uh, their flagship product, which is Microbacter 7. That's a product I think every single hobbyist knows about. Um, and there's a reason it's a flagship product. Oh, I see Lisa running to get her bottle. <laughs> we should do a show and tell, Lisa. <laughs> um, so th that there's a reason why it's our flagship product and that's because it works across the board for every level, hobbyist, every size tank, every issue. Um, it's just a good mix of marine bacteria that um, is helpful and beneficial to your reef tank. So what I prepared to show everybody was um, just a quick overview of what Brightwell's product's all about. We've got hundreds and hundreds of products, quite literally. Um, you are able to fine tune everything in your reef tank. It just depends on how much you like to tinker with your tank or do you just want to set it and forget it? We have products for every level of hobbyist, starting with a brand new uh, hobbyist all the way to advanced and expert. So um, let me see if I can share my screen. Point number one, all of Brightwell's products are made in the United States, uh, including their salt. It's not imported from another country. Everything is made in the US, uh, quality checked in their own factory. Um, there is a, a very strict standard that they maintain because they are able to control every step of the process with all of their products. Um, so the Brightwell philosophy is from the ground up. And what that means is your first step in a reef tank is to start off with the right salt. And of course, salt is one of those things that simply everybody, um, simply everybody is either married to or is asking what's the best salt and everybody has an opinion. So this is not about why Neomarine is the best out there. This is just about what makes Neomarine my salt of choice and the salt of choice for a lot, a lot of people worldwide. Um, so first of all, it is made in the US. So all the ingredients are quality controlled and precisely formulated um, in every batch. It's anhydrous. And what that means is there is no water in it. These are uh, chemicals and everything that's in it is, doesn't have any water. So when the bucket says it's gonna mix to 150 gallon, it will mix to 150, not 147, not 145, it will mix to 150. Um, a lot of times you hear, well, it sizzles or it gets hot or, I, you know, when I'm putting it in the water. And that's, again, because of the anhydrous materials that are in it. Uh, our mixing instructions for Neomarine is different from most salts out there. We actually recommend that you mix it for 24 hours. So this is not a mix and dump kind of salt. The reason for the 24 hours is to balance out the pH. And um, a lot of the salts out there, Neomarine is uh, natural seawater levels. So there's nothing enhanced in it. The salts that are enhanced, which have say, very high calcium or alkalinity. Um, when you do water changes with a, with a tank that that's high, you, you have to worry about matching your new mix with the levels in your reef tank. When you're doing a natural seawater level, it's much easier to maintain. And whenever you do a water change, it's not a big shock to your system. 
you're not worried about now matching temperature and pH and alkalinity and calcium before dumping it in, uh, before you shock something. So neomarine is just um, not just uh, exceptionally quality controlled, but it has no enhanced um, levels. They are very easy to maintain for any any reef level, any hobbyist in the uh, any level actually. Um, it's super popular worldwide coral. If anybody's been to their Orlando stores, um, their superstore has this gigantic tank with neomarine that's pre-mixed and you just pour in a bucket and take, um, and they use neomarine as well. It comes anywhere from a 300 gallon box uh, all the way down to a 17 gallon tiny bag, which is super cute. Um, and 50 gallon bags. Personally, I use the bags because um, I, I don't have to lug around a bucket in a small apartment and it's easy for me to just scoop out what I need and it's a small bag that I can put anywhere. So I prefer personally to use the bucket, um, the, the bag. But um, Neomarine, again, it's, it's available online. Uh, you can buy it direct uh, with us. Brightwell is available worldwide. So. If you are in the market looking at a new salt, I would highly recommend look at the Bulk Reef Supply salt series. They investigated, uh, I wanna say five or seven salts and consistently Neomarine was in the top two or top three in all the categories that they tested. So definitely take a look at the BRS series on salt. So Brightwell believes in laying the best foundations for your reef tank. Uh, which starts from the ground up, as I mentioned, which starts with a good quality salt. Your next step is you're gonna cycle your tank, of course. So in order to do that, the, for um, before a couple of years, we introduced Microbacter Start XLM just a couple of years ago. Before that, the product of choice was Microbacter 7, and you can still use that if you're comfortable with it. You've started reef tanks with Microbacter 7, absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, Microbacter Start XLM is live nitrifying bacteria. So this product is 15 times the strength of any competing product out there. It can sustain a thaw, freeze, heat cycle a couple of times and still be viable. And um, it also comes, it comes by itself in multiple sizes, but it also comes in a dry rock bacteria starter kit. And this includes um, an ammonia source, which is called quick cycle, Mycobacter quick cycle. It includes the nitri live nitrifying bacteria and it includes Mycobacter clean, which is another bacterial product for the ugly stage. It doesn't matter whether you start with live rock or dry rock or what you do in there, you're gonna get the ugly stage. So Mycobacter clean, um, this entire kit will cycle your tank and then help you take care of the ugly stage. So you get over the first couple of hurdles in your tank. Um, with Microbacter Start XLM and a dry start, and what that means is marker rock or real live rock that maybe you already have in an established tank and dry sand, a complete dry setup. Microbacter Start XLM will cycle your tank in about seven days. And uh, the reason to that we recommend Marco Rock and dry sand is because a lot of the products that come live or, um, you know, like a bag of sand that is called, that is supposedly alive, the bacteria in that and in certain um, colored, purple colored rocks, they're sprayed with a bacteria that is not a marine bacteria. So when you have those in your tank and you use Microbacter Start XLM, these two or these different strains of bacteria are trying to compete for the same space. So in that case, your tank will not cycle in seven days, even though you're using our, um, our product because it's trying to establish a foothold competing for the same space with uh, other bacteria. You will cycle, it's just not gonna be seven days. So if you're doing a complete dry start, uh, try this out and, um, and you know, you'll get results uh, very, very quickly if you're doing 
dry start. Next step is our flagship product, the Microbacter 7 um, Bioculture. It's, it's uh, basically, it establishes the correct, um, correct bacterial profile in your tank and maintains it over the lifetime of your tank. And sometimes you get issues like cyanobacteria or you, know, you get diatoms or you get other issues. And that's just other types of bacteria competing again for the same space. So constantly once a week, every time you do a water change, some people dose it every day, I do dose it every day. You can't go wrong with Mycobacter 7. Um, it's, a, it's a natural bacteria, it's dormant, so it's cysted. Um, it takes a little bit of time to get activated in your reef tank, but once it does, you're going to enjoy tremendous benefits. Microbacter 7 works from the very start of your tank throughout the lifetime of it. There's no right or wrong. There's no good time to, to pour it in, or there's really, there's really, there's no way to go wrong with this, um, this amazing product. So if you haven't heard of it, that is something to check out as well. So now you've got a reef tank, uh, you've cycled it, and um, you are now trying to maintain, you've taken care of the ugly stage, you're trying to maintain levels because you'd like to get corals at some point. So your next step is maintaining alkalinity and calcium. As, you're, as you add corals or as you get coralline algae, um, these elements get absorbed or they're utilized by all these organisms, um, alkalinity, calcium. Reef code A and B is ionically balanced, which means it's not just a buffer and not just calcium. Um, they have strontium, they have magnesium. So it's ionically balanced two part as um, we've heard in, in the hobby. So as your tank is growing, your corals are growing, you're adding more corals, the needs of the tank will change. And that's where dosing after measuring with a, a two-part or individual calcium alkalinity uh, magnesium components comes um, into play. And we also make, so reef code A and B, as I mentioned, is ionically balanced. It's got everything in two bottles. But if you like to fine tune as I do, I like to fine tune all the elements in my tank. Sometimes I'm having a growth spurt, so it's gonna use up a lot more of the alkalinity. Sometimes my growth, because maybe I have high phosphates, it stops. So maybe it's not utilizing any of them too much. So I'm constantly adjusting and I find for my personal reef tank that it's better for me to just work on individual components. So alkaline 8.3 is just a buffer. Calcium is just for calcium. And of course, magnesium is just for magnesium. All of these come in a liquid form in multiple sizes, all the way up to five gallon buckets. They also come in a powder form. So if you're using a lot, um, you know, the powdered form is probably more economical. Mixing a powdered form in your home versus the pre-mixed liquid that we sell, there's going to be a difference in the strength of the product that you're mixing at home. And the reason is that we're using industrial strength mixers in the factory when we do our liquid products. So it's not going to have that same level of, of mixing when you're doing it at home. So keep that in mind. A lot of people think, oh, I was putting two mils of the liquid, so I'm gonna put two mils when I make my own liquid. Um, that's not the case. You have to measure it, follow the instructions, um, and then you'll be fine. All right, so now you've got your basic parameters, your alkalinity, calcium, magnesium in line. So what's next? So we're talking about biological filtration uh, with the Microvector 7 and the Microvector Clean. Um, this is called export. It is a super lightweight, very porous material. This is a house for your bacteria to live in. And a lot of people like to go bare bottom. A lot of people have very uh, minimal rock scape. All these surfaces, you need them in your reef tank because the surface area is where the bacteria live. Yes, you have bacteria in the water column. There's bacteria everywhere. But the amount of bacteria that is clinging to surfaces, sand grains, uh, walls of your tank, the rock, 
um, the water doesn't have as much concentration of bacteria as a, a hard substance in your reef tank. So for those that don't like to have sand or don't have too much rock, um, export in your sump or even in an all-in-one in the back chambers really helps you out with that surface area. It's um, available in many different sizes and shapes. You get them from like little croutons all the way up to like bricks and plates. Um, also little blocks, as you can see on the left. Uh, this is really just dependent on what kind of space you have in your sump. Um, and if you get a brick and, oh my God, it's like an inch too big, you can very easily cut it with a hacksaw. It's pretty easy to, to cut into shape. And each brick or plate lasts about two to three years. And, um, you know, you will know that it's time to change if it's like full of detritus. You want it in your sump in like a medium flow area. It does not need, in fact, we don't recommend direct flow on top of it but you've got your return from your display coming into your filter floss or socks, and then you can have this sitting next to it, um, again, without direct water flow. In the small croutons only, we also have, we actually have three kinds of export. Um, this is not just a place for your bacteria to live. It actually has more function than that. In the little croutons, we've got uh, the bio version, which is doped with aragonite and that controls your pH. So it's, um, it's it, in the bio, it comes in all sizes because it's just um, pH control. Then in the brick and the plate, we also have the NO3, uh, it's called, uh, it's doped with elemental sulfur and that's for nitrate control. So it's called export NO3. And again, it comes in all the different sizes and shapes that we offer. The one that only comes in the croutons is the PO4. That is to remove your phosphate. And that is doped with GFO. Um, so usually when you're trying to lower your phosphates, you've got the, the GFO granules in a reactor and it's tumbling or whatever's going on. Oftentimes, very quickly, you'll see that it was exhausted and your, your PO4, your phosphate levels are increasing again. And hey, I just put this GFO in, what's going on? The reason is that the bacteria kind of coats each, each grain of the GFO. And when there's no contact because of the encapsulation of the bacteria, there's no contact with water, it stops being effective. It's not actually reaching um, the, the GFO material. That's not the case with export PO4 cubes because A, you're not gonna tumble it. You can put it in a bag in your sump, you can put it in a canister, um, you can put it in a reactor. As long as it's not tumbling, you just want flow to go through it. Um, and there is more contact with water. There is continuous contact with water. And remember, it's a very porous medium. So the bacteria that will act on your phosphates um, as a result of using this, it's not gonna exhaust uh, nearly as fast as GFO in the granular form does. So give this a try if you've got high nitrates or phosphates, if you have a fish only system, um, predator system, the NO3 works really good for, you know, dirty tanks if you've got messy eaters. All right, so now you've got a, a tank that's thriving, you've taken care of biological filtration, you've got it all. Now you've been eyeing those gorgeous corals you see at all the, the shops and the stores. So let's see what we can do. You're bringing home these corals and the first thing you really want to do is to dip it. Um, it comes with all kinds of pests. We've got multiple products for dipping. Uh, Lugol's, there's um, a copper-based, oh, I'm sorry, iodine-based um, uh, dips, et cetera. Our most recent one is Coral MD. And Coral MD is pretty gentle compared to something like Lugol's. Um, it is extremely popular. It comes in two strengths, the standard strength and the professional strength. And obviously professional strength uh, comes in smaller bottles 
it's super concentrated and you can use that to clean out your system, um, your raceways, your tubes. You can use it for more than just a dip. It's a cleaner, it's a conditioner. It's got multiple uses and multiple purposes. And then sometimes you get a fresh cut frag or maybe you know your corals are growing and you make frags yourself. So we've got two products that take care of healing and any bacterial infections or issues that might pop up. And those are Frag Recover and Coral Recover. Frag Recover you use outside in a dipping container, but Coral um, Recover is reef safe. So you are able to pour it into your reef tank. Your skimmer is going to go crazy, but if you're noticing bacterial problems in your, um, in your corals, that's the one to, to go to. You know, I forgot the one thing before you get, um, you make your salt, and that was to take care of the ammonia and the chlorine in your water. So unless you're using an RODI unit, which takes care of all those problems, including chloramines, you really want to use a water conditioner. Um, in the Brightwell line, it's called Erase. So it basically erases the problems from tap water, making it safe for you to mix your salt water. So I forgot to mention that. All right, so now you've got these corals, they're growing, you're fragging. Let's talk about coral nutrition. Um, these are, uh, Reef Blizzard has been around a long time. In fact, Reef Blizzard was one of the um, foods that Jake Adams used to use with, uh, you know, all the time with a lot of frequency. These are the brand new Reef Blizzard products and our two best sellers in here is the Reef Blizzard XC, which is for extreme color. It's a powder food, and that's best for like SPS corals. And then we have the Reef Blizzard LPS coral. This is a soft, uh, soft sink pellet food, and LPS corals just love it. You know, turn off your flow and drop some of these pellets on your anemones, your uh, scolies your hammer corals and you'll see that they'll, uh, you can actually see a feeding response. And it, both, of, both of these are formulated to bring out the best co colors in your, in your um, corals. Although, you know, people even now don't think to feed their corals, they're more about feeding their fish. Um, there is fish food that'll get absorbed by the corals or you know, it, it'll be in the in the system. They'll they'll get to eat it, but these are formulated specifically for enhancing the colors. And target feeding is great, or you can broadcast feed. Even that is good. But to take it up a notch, we've got amino acids. Um, the best selling amino acid in our range is the coral amino. This is a um, it's a free form coral amino, which means it's super easy for SPS corals to absorb. And so if you have an SPS dominant tank, you wanna use the coral amino. Restore is fantastic if you have an LPS tank or a mixed reef, because it's got uh, the free form as well as the, um, uh, the fatty acid, hufa omegas, in, in the restore for LPS, you know, for fleshy corals. So that's a good choice. Coral color just has, um, uh, again, color enhancers. You don't have to use all three in conjunction. You can use either any one of them. Um, like I said, Brightwell has a lot of products to tweak every single aspect of your reef. So here's an example of um, how to, to just work on colors in your tank. So now you've been feeding a lot and now you've got uh, some problems. <laughs> you've got algae popping up, you've got um, high phosphates or nitrates. So we're gonna talk about all of that. These are our two best selling um, issue removers, I would say. Microbacter Clean is part of the Microbacter series of bacterial products. It's got live and dormant bacteria. It works over time to remove, um, you know, uh, any issues that you've been having, such as um, biofilm or you know algae, that's just very difficult. Um, you can see all over social media, people have had great success taking care of bubble algae by using this along with um, along with razor. 
the both of them along with Razor. Razor is not a bacterial product, it's a chemical product. Um, so they both work for the same purpose, but Mycobacter Clean is a slow, slower acting product than Razor. So with Razor, you have to watch your tank, you have to check your nutrient levels, and you will see a difference. Um, it's not as simple, I'm gonna dose five mLs a day and do that consistently and forget about it. You really ought to look at what it's, um, you know, the, the, the level of problems you are having and adjust your dose accordingly. Um, so these two products in conjunction, um, or instead of Mycobacter Clean, you can use Mycobacter 7 and Razor. They work um, really nicely together to take care of problems with overfeeding or too many, too many um, nutrition, uh, nitrates, phosphates, too many of them. Some people have the opposite problem. Some people can't keep their nitrates and phosphates up. And so we've got a product for that too. Um, it's called NeoNitro and NeoFos, and especially for ultra low nutrient systems, um, these are very beneficial because it makes sure that your corals are not starving for nutrition. In addition to that, we have a product called KaidoGrow. Um, it's got all the trace elements for, <laughs> there we go, with Lisa showing, doing a show and tell again. Um, <laughs> yes, and she's got the Kaido Grow too. So Kaido Grow has all the uh, trace elements that, so if you're running a refugium or you have um, macroalgae, these three in conjunction work excellent for a macroalgae tank. Um, we got requests from a lot of coral farmers or people with, ex with large reef tanks that they just couldn't keep their nitrates and phosphates up. Can you make bigger bottles? They were just going through our four liters, you know, like water almost. So we came out with a Neo Nitro 5X, Neo Foss 5X. So it's five times the strength of our standard product. And all of them come in multiple sizes also. Um, people swear by Neo Nitro 5X. Um, it works, it sustains and maintains your nitrate level. It's not gonna bottom out like with, um, your usual, if you use our, our Neo Nitro, but if you've got a little issue, not a lot, go with the standard strength. So Neo Nitro is actually, the 5X is actually uh, the most recent addition to the Brightwell line. It's, it's one of our newest products. And believe it or not, we also make freshwater products and they're just as, um, broad spectrum as the salt water. We've got a line of 12 curated shrimp safe products for um, you're going to Aquashella, you're gonna see a lot of the beautiful little tiny shrimp. We've got 12 products that are for those shrimp keepers because they are very specific to the needs and chemistry requirements of those cute shrimp. So they are shrimp safe, they all have this little shrimp symbol on it. Um, they all come with a pump. So, and again, multiple sizes because some shrimp tanks are really tiny. Um, we also have a, a really vast range of products for planted tanks, including uh, dirt, I mean the soil. And our, our soil um, is, is, has a lot of uh, qualities over any competing European soil that freshwater enthusiasts use. Um, they usually report with other soils that their ammonia just is stagnant, it stalls, it, the, they can't get rid of the ammonia when they first start a tank. That's not the case with our dirt. So if you're thinking about a freshwater or an overhaul of your current freshwater tank, give Brightwell freshwater products a try. And so we like to call our, our products the dream team because again, you start with a good foundation and throughout the lifetime with every issue or every uh, achievement that you'd like in your reef tank, you are able to attain that with the Brightwell Aquatic products. And then finally, um, if you, so a lot of our customers, they are using, for example, Microbacter 7 for years and years or you know, they're using the Neo Nitro 5X now. They're unable to, <laughs> I see Sonia's doing a show and tell as well. <laughs> um, 
So you're sometimes online retailers and your local fish stores don't carry all the sizes. Hey, I want a five gallon, I'm running a raceway. I'm Mark Levinson and I've got a thousand gallons in my, in my house. I need a five gallon bucket of Microbacter 7. So we have sizes uh, on our direct website that your local fish store or your online retailer of choice may not carry. So it's called continuumdirect.com. Continuum is with two U's. Um, and we created a special code for the club to get 15% off your purchase on the website. Um, Continuum is our sister company, Brightwell Aquatics and Continuum, Continuum Aquatics are sister companies. They're made in the same family. Mr. Jack Kant is the owner for both companies. So the website is Continuum Direct and you can buy both if, um, if you buy Continuum products, you can buy both Continuum and Brightwell on that uh, website. So with that, I kind of like concluded with just a few of the Brightwell products. Um, I'm open to any questions or any, anything that you might want to ask me. Thanks, Kat. I've got a quick question about Razor. Can you kind of explain more what it is? Is it a flocculant? Is it an oxidizer? What is it? So it is a flocculant, yes. And it works in multiple ways, including the oxidize, in, including oxidizing. It's basically an overall cleaning action, loosens debris. It prevents particles from settling onto the rocks and accumulating. And the flocculent, you know, you're running your wave maker. So the flocculent uh, aspect of it comes into play. It's, um, there's some feedback from somewhere. Um, okay. Thank you. So, so it works in, in multiple ways and it's basically, uh, you know, it's specifically formulated to clean the surfaces in your aquarium. So stuff that is stuck on your rocks or the walls of your tank, this is designed to take care of that. Um, okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I had a question for you. Okay. Um, you, didn't, you didn't mention your food soaks in your presentation. Are there any particular food soaks that you recommend? I know currently I'm using, I think, like some of the garlic and the omegas and the vitamin C. Um, is there a certain combo that you kind of recommend to cover everything? Um, there are so many. Again, in the Brightwell product range, you can really fine tune everything. Across the board, most people use the garlic. Um, and if you open a fresh bottle, you can pretty much want to cook with it. It's, it's pretty strong, but I like, uh, but there's a uh, vitamin F, which you are, um, vitamin C, which you're using, but there's also vitamin M. Um, these are again, um, vitamins and minerals for doing, you know, for your, for your soaking of your foods. Um, in terms of amino acids, the amino acids that I talked about, you can dose that directly in your tank or use them as a food soak. We have specific amino acids that are for fish. Uh, one is called angel elixir. So if you've got finicky feeders, like say an orange spot file fish, copper band butterfly, especially Moorish idols, uh, really finicky, hard to uh, fish that just are known to be very finicky and hard to get to eat, that's the product that will get them to eat. It's called Angel Elixir. In addition to that, we've got another um, amino acid called Amen Omega, and then also Max Amino. They all do different things, different um, uh, aminos in them, and they can all be used as a food soap. So in addition to just garlic, the vitamins, uh, you can also add the amino acids. We have a new product again. I mean, we have so many, it's kind of hard to do that in a presentation. Another one of our newest products that was recently introduced is called the micro plant planktose and ultra planktose. These are liquid products, food products. They basically have um, the extreme powdered food that I was showing you. So basically has coral foods and it's already mixed in with coral amino and uh, with amino acids and also vitamins and minerals. 
So it's a one-stop, uh, all-in-one product. You don't want to do dry and this liquid product because this one has everything. So for those that don't want to tinker with doing, you know, mixing different things in your food soak, um, these bottles of liquid food um, really come in handy. And then we have um, uh, uh, two products that have been around for a long time. It's called Macrovore and Microvore. And zooplankton and small particles, large particles, those are super popular as uh, food products or nutrition for coral products also. Referring to, uh, so in this dream team um, slide, the product on the left, the second one from the left is called Reef Biofuel. Okay. Um, Reef biofuel is a carbon source uh, from Brightwell. It's gentle. It's not going to cause, you know, a, a big spike in your bacterial profile. It's designed to work with our, our bacterial products. So um, if you're thinking about giving uh, a carbon source a try or switching, try Reef biofuel. So is biofuel uh, a mixed carbon source or single carbon source? Uh, no, proprietary. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> yeah, um, it works really well. Um, and like I said, it's gentle. It's not going to suddenly go boom and you see like a massive cyano outbreak uh, will not happen with using our products that are designed to work together. Thank you. You're quite welcome. So in addition to like just shrimp freshwater and planted freshwater, there's koi, there's pond, there's cichlids, rainbow fishes. <laughs> we can really go really deep and narrow into every kind of uh, specific fish. And um, it, the, the line of products is pretty complex and interesting. Oh, there. Does anyone else have any questions for Kat? Uh, there's like a, ch a chat thing, Mark. You can type your, your questions <laughs> in there. Are there any livestock that have issues with certain Brightwell products? It's a broad question. So for example, if you're overdoing razor, um, razor, remember, is uh, a product that takes care of nuisance issues in your tank. Um, it, also take, it also works on the, the nitrates and phosphates and nutrient levels in your system. So it's possible that you're not watching and maybe xenia start to look pissed off or your clam might be pinched and start to show, get angry. Um, that will happen. And if you're running a, a refugium, you have macroalgaes that can get affected because all of these organisms are, and animals are utilizing the same nutrients that are in the water. So removing that food and nutrient source from something that's a nuisance also is removing it from the animals you'd like to keep. So a balance is always necessary, watching your tank, testing, seeing what's, what's happening, that's always necessary. Our products are 100% reef safe. Anything that you cannot use in your reef, it says so, like we have copper products for fish diseases, et cetera. It'll say not reef safe, you're not supposed to use it in there. But there, all of these have been tested um, on animals, et cetera, and they are completely reef safe. Thank you. Do we have any other questions? Everybody seems on mute. Um, thank you so much, Kat. Oh my goodness. There were products I was not familiar with. I can't wait to do a little bit more of a dive there and then buy them and bring them in. And bless you for the, the coupon savings. Wow, that's so generous <laughs> of you. I was not expecting that. And yay! <laughs> Everybody loves the savings. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank um, you for having us. Uh, oh, my goodness. This, this was um, this wonderful. So thank you for sharing your evening. Now, just a reminder, um, I do see some people that just dropped off and I have their name in the box. So now I have to, because um, I'm going to swivel and we have a giveaway, but you must be present to win. 
And so we have a donation this evening that came from Reef Labs out of Florida. Um, so uh, those of you that are still on, your odds just improve. Whoop, 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 whoop. And it's an ICP test kit. So if you weren't here at the beginning uh, to catch everything, by tomorrow night, I hope to have this entire presentation. Thank you, Kat. I hope to have this entire presentation up on YouTube. But let me, um, and I, silly me, I pulled it then. So now I have to dig deeper. At least I only put one hole in. All right, he's not here. Okay, everybody else is done. So, who's feeling lucky? <laughs> <laughs> I like the uh, the hand wave. Me, me, me. I'm not looking. And I've got a paper in my hand. I've got two papers in my hand. Okay, I have one and the oh, Sonia. Congratulations! Woo, 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 woo. Um, so I'll I'll get with you. I'll see you Saturday. Do you want me to bring it to awkward? Okay, I'll just bring it. I won't mail it. Um, Thanks. And, oh, sure. Congratulations. So I'll stop the recording here. If you guys want to visit, you're welcome to stay on and visit. Um, thank you so much, Kat, again. Thank what you. What a wonderful presentation. Can yeah. I have that website again? I'm sorry. Yes, it's Continuum Direct, C-O-N-T-I-N-U-U-M, direct.com. Okay. Um, and I'll send it to Lisa too, in case um, you. Um, I took a screenshot. <laughs> okay. And it's it'll recorded. be in the pre the recording. So there you um, go. how how long will this offer be available? Uh, Thirty days. Thirty, 30 days. days. Okay. So for those of you who are watching on YouTube, this offer is only good for thirty days from the live presentation. So this will be available for a long time, but by the end of June, 2023, no more. So not to surprise anyone, must be present to win, must be here to know about it. So <laughs> thank you again, Kat. I'm thank gonna you. stop the recording here, but uh, everyone's welcome to stay. I have to find the recording. Thank there. you, Kat, really appreciate it. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Good to hear, thank you.